I'm Juliana, and we are back uh, at the Maples. We're here at Hill Grill. Um, there we go. I was a little off there, and I got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hill Grill. We're, this is a great place to just eat. It's very convenient. You just walk down from your room. A lot of people come in There's there. There's the opening PJs. door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people come in their PJs sometimes at night, um, late night study sessions. Just come down, get food, maybe have a lunch date. Um, and What do they serve at the grill? Gosh, the Hill Grill. Everything, everything you could want in like comfort food and healthy food. Um, I could get a burger there? Yeah, you can get a burger, grilled cheese, they do tater tots, fries. Um, they have like kind of a healthy section here. You okay. can kind of make like a, a bowl, like a rice bowl or uh, maybe like a vegan bowl. Um, so they have a bunch of options for whatever you're in the mood for. And uh, it's great food. It's what was one of your favorite. favorites that you would come oh, and get? Oh gosh, I loved the grilled cheese and tater tots. Grilled cheese and tater tots? Yes. That ketchup was like, with tater tots or just straight up? Just, well, I'm, I'm not that big into ketchup. Okay. But, um. I understand. Yeah. Um, grilled but cheese tater and tater, tater tots. tots and grilled yes. cheese. It's good stuff. Comfort food. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're doing a big tour of the Maple Hill area. Yes. And uh, you lived here once I did. upon a time, I right? I lived in South, which is right here. It's actually. Ah, yes, this is all part of South, which we'll be showing off here in a little bit. Great, I great. I lived here. Another big part is you can always like, look out and see concerts happening here. Yeah, on the let me lawn. see. Let me see. We'll move over here and yeah. show them. This is sort of what did you call this? The lawn. The lawn uh, area. South lawn. Uh, you can see people, you know, playing frisbee, playing soccer, uh, practicing, or um, every now and then we'll have a concert out here. Uh huh. Um, and it was just a great place. Um, you could just watch from your window if you wanted or come out and be really social. Great place to meet people. Um, yeah, it's just a fun area. Yeah. People, yeah. Fantastic. And we have several people who've joined us already. Oh, wow. And uh, feel free to ask questions as we go. Uh, Juliana and I are happy to help you and Kent to help you yes. uh, find out any answers you need. So what basically we're gonna do is we're gonna tour um, Maple Hill East, but show you all of the Maple Hill community. Uh, Maple Hill East is kind of the the main hub, if you will, right? Yes. The main area. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> well, we'll go ahead and head on in after okay. seeing the Hill Grill and the lawn. Oh, yeah. There's that little, I think that's maybe off-brand for us now, but it's certainly a wonderful uh, uh, thing etched in stone. Yeah, this building opened in 2008, so it was a year ahead of the the new branding. The new brand, okay, gotcha. So we're coming up in to the Maple area. Now this one right here, there's three, we'll explain. There's three, and this is Maple Hill South, right? Yes. So the areas generally are kind of similar, but that is Maple Hill South. And we're coming into the courtyard here, one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, plenty of bike racks, lots of bike racks for people. Did you ever ride your bike while you were here? I did not. No judgment, I'm just a curious. A lot of people have bikes, a lot of people have scooters. Sure. It's really cool. Great, so we're now we're, we're leaving Maple Hill South mm -hmm. and we're walking towards, let me just go ahead and point this out, Maple Hill West right here. Yes. Maple Hill West and then Maple Hill East. They come a little closer to you. Okay. The signs here will always help you. I know when you first get here, at least I was, I was very confused on where to go because you kind of come through here and it's very confusing because they look very similar, but um, just watch the signage. There's one there. Yeah, There's so one sign there. East and west There's and another west sign south. right here. Gotcha. Yeah. And where did you park? Um, well, I did not have a car. Oh, no. okay. Um, we, what would you recommend? Bring a car or going carless? Um, your first year, I really don't think you need a car, huh. um, but if you'd like to, there's a great parking lot this way. Everybody parked over here. Over in um, that lot over there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, after great. that, if you move off campus, I think you would probably need a car, but <laughs> fresh, freshman year, probably. You can go, you can do without if you yeah, want. Okay. <laughs> and we do have, of course, um, Razorback Transit, yes. which will take you pretty much Everything. anywhere in the city center area mm -hmm. and a little bit past. Take it up to the mall, apparently. Yeah. We want to check out the courtyard? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah let's check out that courtyard. courtyard. So this is the second courtyard. Yes. More bike racks. More bike racks. Um, so here we're seeing, I guess, the, uh, the north end of 
Maple Hill West. That's not confusing at all. No. And the north end of Maple Hill East. <laughs> and uh, you can kind of, there's different things here. There's a grill, um, kind of a place to meet and eat as well if you'd like to. Um, and here there's even a place to hang your hammock if that's, you know, what you're into. Um, and we have more space back here, um, kind of in the trees. Uh -huh. Yeah, There's kind of a garden going on back there, yeah, too. That's a student uh, developed and run garden. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's really pretty. Uh, vegetables, to some extent? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, it's wonderful. Nice garden. <laughs> did you do much hammocking? I did not. Uh -huh. um, but, but it's I, popular. Like, I know I see it around the Greek theater oh, all the goodness. time. It's all around campus. Um, it's everywhere. Everyone <laughs> loves to do it here. Well, great. Well, um, you want to head inside, then? Yeah, let's go inside. We're heading into Maple Hill East, just so everyone knows. And the reason we chose Maple Hill East is because it's where you'll pick up your mail and it's kind of a center hub in a lot of ways. And you'll see a lot of similarities in the other two buildings as well. Garland Commons. <laughs> okay. This is the Cle Cleveland Commons. Cleveland Commons, is that what's yeah. there? <laughs> oh, Cleveland, excuse me. All right, here we are inside. And uh, if you don't mind, maybe we'll say hello to you at the front Hi. desk here. How are you doing? Not too bad. Good. What's your name? I'm Christina. Christina. What are you doing for us today, Christina? I'm um, conference services. I man the desks when the secretary is not here. Gotcha. You have a lot of people coming in and out? Not right now, actually. No? All the band kids are out doing their stuff. Band stuff? That one time I'm at not, band camp, right? I'm not instrumentally gifted, so I cannot <laughs> begin to tell you. Well, good deal. Now, are you a student here? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. I'm a sophomore. Fantastic. We're glad to have you back. What do you study? Uh, psychology. Psychology. Okay. Don't get in my head. <laughs> All right. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So, mail. Yes. And then we come over here. You've got it. To the mail section. Uh huh. I do want to mention you will, they don't really tell you anywhere. Um, you don't find out unless you kind of uh, go in depth with your roommate, but you do share a mailbox with whoever you're rooming with and that was something that I didn't I did not know and a lot of people didn't know uh, But I just wanted to mention that so there's no confusion. Yeah, you do share a mailbox um, So how does that play out like you when you open your mailbox? It's it'll be also there. not everyone's mails not there. all your roommates or some of your roommates um, How does it work just your direct roommate? Okay. Um, so like if you have two sweet mates there they have a mailbox separate, but your roommate's mail and your mail will be in the same place. So if you grab mail, don't assume you know it's yours. <laughs> look, at, look at the name. Look huh? at, make sure you look at the name. Um, and the same with packages. It, it all just comes through uh, the same way. Sure. Mm -hmm. We have all the rows of mailboxes out here. Mm -hmm. And we're heading back into the uh, kind of the main area again. Yes. And again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask them. We're happy to answer. Um, this space right here. I guess people wait here uh, when they need to mm -hmm. meet up with someone, or does this does this have a name? This particular room? Um, no, I, I just call it kind of like the common meeting place. Okay. A lot of people use this room here as well. It's just kind of a quiet area mm -hmm. um, to study or do whatever they need to do. Um, this so. that couch is pretty swanky. Yeah. I like it. And the fireplace is nice. They like to fire those up, you know, during the winter fall time. I like that quote up there. Knowledge is proud. Oh, you read it if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Knowledge is proud that he has learned so much. Wisdom is humble that he knows no more. And that's where we come in. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, where shall we check out next in Maple Hill East? Um, we can... Oh, we had a question real quick. Oh, okay. From Melanie. She asks, so all Maple West and Maple South residents get their mail in Maple East? Yes. They all come Correct. together. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the question. Yeah. And there's actually more here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're everywhere. So I picked up my mail, I believe, here. That's your box, huh? Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere in there? Somewhere in there. This is where I picked up my mail. And I lived in Maple South. Okay. So it all just kind of varies depending on where you live, what's your number, things like that. So, yeah. Yes, absolutely. And then we can head in here to the Fulbright Freshman Advising Center. Oh, right, yeah. That's a, a center that's located within here, and uh, we highly advise that you use this service. You knock on the door there. Yeah, we'll see if someone can come to the door. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? Just fine. I was hoping you might be able to tell us a little bit about the Fulbright Advising Center. Sure. Yeah, um, what was your name? 
My name is Amanda Butts. Hey Amanda, nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, what, what do you guys do here? So we are the Fulbright Freshman Advising Center. Mm -hmm. We are located in um, the dorms as well, so that we can meet with all freshmen who are in the Fulbright College. Mm -hmm. um, we are here to talk with students about kind of their whole transition into college, um, helping them figure out how to add and drop classes, helping them to figure out their schedules. We have um, walk-ins every day, and mm -hmm. we're also here for appointments as well. Wow, okay. And uh, so a student, when do you recommend they first come in and say hello? Uh, we recommend that they come in at any point when they have a question. Okay. So if they're um, curious about how to add a class at the very beginning of the semester or drop a class, um, we're here to kind of help them do that. Sure. They're struggling with their classes and they need resources. So at any point during the semester, we recommend they walk in. And then priority registration is in November. So we start um, advising students around October so that they can start enrolling in classes for priority registration. Very great. Uh, now, did you use this service? I have. I actually had the Sennheiser right He's here. back there. He's, He's on the phone right there. now? Okay. <laughs> um, we won't we, trouble him. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the service because it's very helpful when you're kind of stressing like, okay, what classes do I take or what classes do I have left and kind of how do I, you know, get all of my major requirements out of the way and things like that. Very helpful service. So I highly recommend it. <laughs> mm, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, great. Well, thank you very much. Any other parting thoughts for our UARC 20 students who are coming in? Well, welcome, and I hope we get to see you soon. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Amanda. Sure. All right. Thank Let's you. continue our tour of the building. And there are actually classrooms in here. Yes, there are. Um, did you take any classes in here? I did not, but it would have been so nice to just walk, you know, mm -hmm. over <laughs> and have a class. But there's one here. Yeah. And then I believe there's another one here. Right. Now, you know, I was thinking about um, something I've heard students tell me sometimes is they're not sure what classes they have to take for prereqs right. and all that kind of stuff. Right. So those are the people who can help you out with that, I That's think. That's true. Yeah. Um, they're also, I believe, they give you a sheet mm -hmm. uh, freshman year. And I've kept mine all of the years I've been here. Um, it's very helpful. You just kind of check it off as you finish classes so you know what you have left. Um, and by the end, you know, when you're nearing the end, you see you have a whole bunch of check marks and you're like, oh, okay, you see exactly what classes you need to take. And I find that very helpful as well. So you're academically advising me right now in real time. <laughs> uh, let's talk about this detail real quick. Uh, this is kind of a breezeway, I guess, from one side of east mm -hmm. to the other. And we use the fob system, which is very important. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to fob in and out. Yes. Uh, this is that second courtyard that we were just looking at. We're now on this side of it. Great. Yeah, and it's air conditioned, which is nice because it is hot yeah, today. It's great air conditioning, and it's very secure because you really can't get anywhere without a fob. There you go, fob is in. Yeah. All right, thank you. I should mention also that we're very close to Reed, which yes. is where there is a uh, police station. Yes. So, uh, a UAPD police station, <laughs> not a city of Fayetteville. Are we going to the. I think we're going to look at the uh, showroom first. So some of you who were here for orientation probably went through, or have been on a campus tour, have probably already seen this room, but we thought we'd go ahead and show it anyway. Uh, it is uh, one of three rooms we're going to look at in Maple Hill to give you all the configurations. Maple has a lot of different configurations, doesn't it, Kat? It has, a, yes, it does. <laughs> um, this is a, what we call just a, a double room. Mm -hmm. And it shows off the in, the uh, the bathroom in the room, which is nice. Mm -hmm. This one was actually decorated by uh, Walmart, and some nice help from the bookstore as well. And you can see some some fun details in here. <laughs> I really love the decorations. This is the first time you've seen how how they decorated it. Yeah, I love this room. Kind of a pink and gray. I didn't expect to like pink and gray and turquoise <laughs> as much as I do, but it really kind of comes together nicely. Great. Right. And we even have the closets here so you can kind of see, you know, what your space will be uh -huh. like. Yeah. And we're going to do three rooms. This is the one that is, it's called a what again? It's a double room. Double. It's called a double room. Um, or a single double. Uh-huh. A single double. And uh, these are, we don't have a ton of these actually in the Maple Hill area. No, there are um, very few. They're very few. Most of them are bigger and most of them are ones you would share with uh, Four people, four people as opposed total. to two. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and at least just pop in the bathroom for a second. Okay. So this is more about giving you some maybe some ideas about what you might, how you might want to style it. Yeah. Got the bathroom there and the cabinet. 
Yeah. And with this um, curtain, it's yeah. kind of like a tension rod. So it took two people for us um, to kind of get it out to put our own shower curtain on there. But you just kind of push it together and like pull it down at the same time and then you'll be able to put your own curtain on there. Sure. And this question came up in quad. I want to be sure I answer it here as well. Um, you are, we supply a curtain, but you are not required to use that curtain. You can use your own curtain. You just have to change it out and then give us back our curtain whenever you move out. Uh, Lisa Westbrook asks, do you happen to know the dimensions for how wide a headboard would need to be? Um, we yeah, we can, we can do it. We can do it here or we can do it in uh, one of the other rooms. We'll do it in both. <laughs> Headboard measurement. I think the headboard measurement is going to be the same as you know the rest of the oh. width things it here. Stay for me. Yeah. Let's see. Got a lot of questions coming in. We'll we'll, we'll catch about, them as best we can. Know that this is only one of three different rooms that we're going to look at. It's about forty. Uh -huh, what have we got? About forty-one inches. About forty-one inches. Okay. Okay. So um, that would be how wide it is. Let's see, let me get, take these one by one. Oh, wow. Uh, Jennifer asks, I would like a measurement for a bed that has been lifted, but not as high as this bed. And I'm assuming you probably mean as high as this one. There are several different mm -hmm. points here where you can actually put the bed. Um, I believe I lifted mine to about here and like in my room tour. Um, it's about, you know, 40. 40? 40, 40 inches to, which one is that? That's like, oh, that's that's pretty far along the pole, about midway up yeah, the pole. That's, yeah, just about halfway. It's halfway between, you know, like a bed like this and then mm -hmm, this high. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so about 40 inches. About 40 and, inches. And keep in mind, this configuration allows you to go all the way mm -hmm. to put a uh, desk with a, uh, a top, or actually it's a big topper there at the, Top. So, um, yeah, um, let's ask, let's ask, now take uh, Deborah's question. Okay. She asks, can you bring your own shower head? And I'm thinking, no, probably think not. No. We don't recommend changing it out. No. Um, Zoe asks, is this room similar to room type B? And I don't this, have the... No, we will see one like that. Okay. Um, but this one is just the single double, kind of how you, it's... This is similar most similar to G suite mm -hmm. okay. in east and west and in south I believe it's an A suite. Yeah. But this is the same size room, bedroom. Um, it's mm -hmm. just uh, that this in the doubles, double doubles, um, mm -hmm. there'll be a wall with a door here. Mm -hmm. we'll see okay, that. yeah, so we'll, we'll see, see We'll see a room type B, I believe. It's G. We'll see a room type mm -hmm. G. This is room type G. Um, no. no, the G is the double double. Okay, okay, great. Um, Margo asks, what are the dimensions of the window from the top to the floor? Well, let's find out. <laughs> let's find out. You can if you need to. You can. About 93 inches uh, of the window from the top to the floor. So Natalie asks, does the desk topper, the hut shelf, you just showed, come with the room? It seems to match the yes. rest of the furniture. It does. Yes. And the, yeah, so this right here is uh, with the room, yeah. but then the little boxes are. There should be a light. There's kind of like a cork board mm -hmm. uh, underneath there, and then the light doesn't work on this one. But okay. there is a light underneath here, but you can. Oh, oh there you go. go. So there you got a little bit of light, a little too. A bit of delay, but. <laughs> <laughs> the light underneath here, and then. Yeah. You know, yeah, you can bring a little lamp if you need more light. So. Sure. Uh, Melanie asks, can you show the bath vanity? Of course we can. And I guess, oh, yes, here. That's the bath vanity. <laughs> and there is oh. this light here. Okay, great. So there you've got the bath vanity. Vanity. Mm -hmm. One sink, and then you've got spaces underneath. I guess we could open up spaces. Let's see. Uh, Jennifer asks, can you zoom out from the bed? And yes, we can. Um, I'm going to cross them. Okay, there you go. So there's one bed right there. And here is the other bed right here. 
Great. So let's go ahead and go and look at one of the rooms that's more typical okay. for the residence hall. Do you want to check out the laundry down here? Uh, is it opening? Um, I, thought... I think so. I think it's okay. okay, sure. So we're definitely going to check out laundry and uh, the other things. What unit type is this? Again, that was G, is that right? I'd have more, to look. More it, typically. It, it's similar to G. Similar to G, but we will check and find yeah. out exactly which a one G it is. would be um, where there are two double rooms and a suite. Okay. So here we are in the laundry, and there's one on each floor. Yes, and there's actually um, a new service, I believe you called it Laundry Alert. Um, and what it is, it's kind of like a downloadable site to your phone um, where you can you know, check the status of your laundry. You, once you put it in, you can kind of, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's like a It'll phone. notify you. Yeah. What you do is you, uh, you know, add in your information, it'll say, hey, you put your laundry in this one, uh, it is now ready for you to come pick it up. Yes. The nice thing though is you could be in your room and you can go and you can look and see which ones are open. So yes. during peak times, you don't have to come down here and peek in. You can just know from the from the website, the yeah, if, if it's open or not. And of course, that's a free service. Um, all of our laundry is paid through for through room fees. Yes. Um, and in the pool, uh, there's one on every single floor, so you don't have to, you know bring your luggage upstairs or downstairs, and uh, there's two washers and two dryers here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's usually not too busy. Um, for some reason, a lot of people do their laundry on Sunday. So just a heads up there. Um, that's I think that's days. traditionally laundry day, right? Yeah. Or Saturday? Yeah, so I always try to do mine like, you know, Saturday or Monday or something. <laughs> Work against the peak. Mm -hmm. uh, are you a pods person, a powder person, or I a liquid? Pods. pods are yeah. super easy. They're so light. You don't have to take a whole thing in here. It or it's just very, very easier. <laughs> My house just moved to pods about a year ago too. They're very convenient, yeah. All right. So let's head on upstairs to floor four where we'll look at some of the others. We'll look at a premium and we'll look at the, uh, what's the other configuration? A G, it's a G room. A G room, okay. Each floor also has a, um, a central TV room and kitchen. Right. So is there a, uh, uh, Andrea asked, is there a, uh, no, I'm sorry, Margo asked, <laughs> is there an ice machine on each floor? Um, I believe so, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you were in Maple Hill South. Yes, I was. And that'll translate to Maple Hill East or West. Yes. So, And then uh, Andrea asked, what suit, suite type in East is more like suite type C1 in Maple South? They're killing me now. <laughs> you'll, have to we'll, check, you'll have to check the floor plans on the website for details. Sure, we'll, we'll get that worked out. We'll, right. we'll, we'll answer that for you. Right. Yeah, they've exceeded my memory. Uh, yeah, we don't have those unfortunately in front of us. And we know there are a lot of different types in Maple Hill. And we're actually considering how to make it easier to talk about them without using so many different types. And we have a lounge area here, mm -hmm. a kitchen as well. Okay. So you can, a lot of people will come in. Um, you know, play games, or you might have a meeting in here um, mm -hmm. with Maybe people on your life. floor and your RA. Um, but yeah, you come in here, you have a little oven mm -hmm. type setup here, microwave. Um, we had a stove in ours, but uh -huh. there's no stove here. Um, and there is a sink and then lots of space underneath. You know, baking, they provide everything for you if you want to Sure. Bake, I think you can check out some of those things downstairs too if yeah. you need to. And there's nice, you know, nice size TV, and this is per floor. So through all of Maple's uh, buildings, you'll find this sort of configuration. It has a beautiful view. It does have a nice view out there. Let's take a quick look through, peek through the curtains, if you will. Oh, let's. There we go. I was been amazed by the quality of the furniture that they mm -hmm. put in here. That's really nice, comfortable nice. furniture. Yeah, that's a leather, I believe, isn't mm -hmm. it? Right. So, uh, does the TV, Natalie asks, does the TV have a DVD player? And I'm not sure that I see one. Some of these have game systems yep. attached DVD to them. Right here. Okay. There, so there is a DVD player yes. right there. Great. And, uh, and you can hook up your game systems and all of that as well. Gotcha. And uh, Natalie, thanks again for looking up that, that link on the, on the page for people. I appreciate that. See, people helping people. It's awesome. Hey, awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's go into two of the other rooms. Yes. And um, yeah, and that'll do us. And in addition to the elevators, you have stairs, which oh, yeah. 
Yeah. So you want to get a little cardio. Go down. You got it. <laughs> 10,000 steps. Yeah. Have... Now, what was your major? What did you study? I um, am studying political science and uh, legal, you know, just kind of legal studies, yeah? I guess. Yeah. So headed, to, headed to law school, you think? I believe so. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes. Oh, here we go. All right. So we're in room 448. And what we have here is a, the configuration type is, it's four people who live in this particular mm -hmm. space. Okay. Yes. So we've got, just kind of coming in from the front, you have this area, which is sort of a, a central little area that everyone can share, common area. And then we have this the bathroom area. Well, I guess it's the sink area, really. And how um, my roommates and I kind of divvied up the space here. Mm -hmm. We would put all of our stuff in our shower caddy that we'd take into the shower and just set them all underneath here. Gotcha. And then we kind of go by who had more stuff. Um, <laughs> and so you, somebody would get two drawers and then two drawers here and then had less stuff. One person would get the bottom drawer, which is a little bit The deeper. overflow drawer a little mm -hmm. bit, okay. And so it would work out best that way. Um, you just kind of talk to your roommates and see uh, it also depends on who moves in first, so oh. you can get first pick. So word of the wise, it's always yeah. good to be a little, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll go into the bathroom area. Yes. This is shared by four people. Yes. So bathroom, and you got your little, uh, what is that called? A shelf. A shelf, a shelf <laughs> exactly. And um, you'll have this for all of your towels and um, things like that, a lot of space for that. Um, and again, the shower curtain, this is, I believe, one they give you. Yeah. So, you can just take it off or leave it on, however. We'll head on in. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's the shower head. People had asked earlier about the shower head. And uh, the nice thing is that if the shower head is not doing what you expect it to do, you can always turn in a, uh, a maintenance, maintenance request. Yeah, a maintenance request with mm -hmm. Fix It. Fix It is housing's maintenance request yes. system. And so we're happy to change it out if needed. Yeah, and they're very quick. So. And I've, I've seen uh, students put um, shelving mm -hmm. in here. You can't use a, any kind of a pressurized, like from floor to ceiling, mm -hmm. because this is a, a tile, um, uh, sound tile ceiling. But right. uh, just a freestanding shelf in here for additional storage, towels, whatever. Do you have any? Um, so you were in this kind of configuration yes. exactly. Do you have any thoughts about it? One thing with the mm -hmm. shower, um, sometimes it can get a bit slippery depending on like what your other roommates use. So we decided collectively to just put um, one of those, you know, uh, oh, sticky mats, yeah, sticky okay. mats on the floor so that people weren't sliding around in the, <laughs> in the bathroom. But um, yeah, and we also had like rugs because it's. It can be very cold in the morning on mm -hmm. the floor. We would um, definitely want a rug on that floor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would, I would agree with that. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of my main tips for the, the bathroom. Sure. Um, one question that came in about the bathroom. This is from Margo. Need the length of the shower rod and the curtain. So let's measure. Of course, this is a tension rod too. So yes. whatever you get is going to be a little bigger. But it's about 31. 31, OK. And then I can hold. Um, okay. Let's see, I can hold that up here if you can get the one down below. Um, maybe 72. About 72 inches is the length of the, of the shower curtain. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, let's head on in okay. and look at the rooms. And again, we're going to look at one other room after this. And the other room is going to be the lofted room uh, where you have kind of space above. And I kind of John, we will be showing a loft. That's a, that'll be our last room. Um, this setup is a little different, but mm -hmm. I have seen this setup before. Um, it's good on space, and you kind of each have your own side. Uh, I have a question that came up a couple times in some of the earlier tours was, do you recommend a, uh, a bed uh, cover topper? I do, yes. <laughs> um, it's not... Enthusiastically? Yeah, enthusiastically. Okay. Um, it's not really necessary for everyone, but I know, like, Let's say you have a bad back, or you know you sleep a certain way. Um, it can get slightly uncomfortable. So I bought a topper. I got mine from I think Target. Mm -hmm. um, just get a cheap one. You don't need a super expensive one. Um, you just put it over the top, and it adds comfort instantly. So yeah, that's an enthusiastic yes. Okay, <laughs> so money well spent on a topper. Yes. Uh, and some other questions that have come in. Margot asks, does every uh, dorm room have a window? Yes. And yeah, I think they do. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa asks, please measure 
how tall the headboard is on those beds. And you want... Oh, because it's lower. Exactly. Right, okay. right. How tall the headboard is. Um, These beds are all identical. Okay, so every bed and all of Mabel is going to be so the at, same at this height. height. The headboard would be about 42, 43 uh, for you if you want it this height. That's at that height. At that height, it's mm -hmm. 42. Mm -hmm. Now it, it has, we can check our cheat sheet here. It's got some of the dimensions on there as well. Let's see. Um, 81 would be the, the, whole the whole thing would be 81. Great. Yeah, All right. you have notches, so you can put it anywhere you want, make the headboard any size you want. Um, mm -hmm. And then Jennifer asks, how tall from the floor is the desk shelf? How tall from the floor is the desk shelf? So I think we're talking about, yeah, that. So 57 to the very top of the thing, but I think she's saying oh, this shelf, this right I'm wondering, here? I wonder if we're talking about this shelf right here? No, from the floor to the shelf. This. Is this the shelf you think? I think probably the main uh, Yeah, so direction. the floor to that. Oh. And Jennifer, if wrong, if we're not getting you the right one, let yeah, us know. Let yeah. us know. <laughs> so right here, that's about 30. About 30 is what that is. Um, Kim, there are, Two desks in this room, yes. So here's one, and here's the other. And then Deborah asks, uh, what is the width of the follow space between the beds? And I'm trying to think of follow space. We mean uh, basically the space between these two beds, I think. Okay. Yeah. Is that right, Deborah? Is that what you would like? We're happy to get it. Just want to make sure. Oh, the floor. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. What's what's the difference? What's the floor space between the beds? Uh, between the beds? Like between? Like if they were doing a carpet, I think is what they. Oh, were doing. okay. Can you help her out? Thank you. Okay. And just it for the next okay. Um, Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight inches is the uh, space between the beds on the floor. Um, let's see. Jennifer, all the way to the shelf as if you were using it for a nightstand. So we're talking again about the shelf here. If you were using it for a nightstand. So yeah, I think, we, I think we've got that. Yeah, okay. Great. Any other questions? These are great questions and we love answering them. Uh, let me give you a 360 of the room real quick. We do have new cable that's coming in. HBO is part of that package, and it'll be digital cable from Cox. Um, so things to note, you'll see the stabilizer bar right there. That's important to have. We also have safety guardrails if you decide to loft it very high that you can request from us, and we're happy to give them to you. Um, L asks, when the bed is lofted, is it possible to put the desk under the bed? Yes. And we saw that in um, our first room. You can loft it high enough to put it under the bed. You don't even have to go all the way to the top to put the desk underneath actually so and that includes this right here like mm -hmm. this is this will go under there as well that that portion of it yeah. um let's see i feel like did i include a question on here okay great um so let's go ahead and check out the loft room unless there's anything else in here that anyone wants we'll pause for a second and make sure everybody gets to ask the questions they want okay so there's another room that we that is just like that it's right here yeah, that's A, and it's exactly like B, and we explored B. Heather asks, are there cable outlets in the bedrooms or just living room space? I think there's both, so... Yes. Yeah. Um, here's one in the common living area. There's one there, another one there, um, and then... Oh, we'll go ahead and explore again a little bit. Do you know where they are here? Okay, there's a big four. There's a four right there. See, there's probably more in here, but that's the one I see immediately. Okay. Um, Deborah asks, do the beds come ready to loft, or would you need to request that prior to move in? Um, they may... come ready to loft. Um, I would recommend bringing a rubber mallet. Yeah. Um, if you if you absolutely need help, go through fix it and let us know. Right. So um, yes, you're you're 
Welcome to do-it-yourself. Rubber mallet's very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, we can do it for you as well. The RAs, um, the RAs also help you. Uh, like if you find an RA on your floor, they can go um, and get a rubber mallet and physically help you, you know, lift your bed wherever mm -hmm. you want it to go. So. Great. And then uh, Shelby asked, do we, uh, do we come prepared to loft our own bed? If so, what tools? So we answered that. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then Natalie asked a question specifically for you. Oh, Julia. okay. What do you suggest dorm organization-wise? Like, in your opinion, do you think it's best to lock the beds and put the desk below? What did you do when you were in your dorm? Did uh, we find the right person for that question? I, think so. <laughs> I, I do have a tour um, on YouTube, and I kind of lifted it about halfway. I put a fridge underneath, one that came with um, a little ice container at the top and everything. So it was. Uh, pretty tall actually um, so I could fit a fridge underneath I fit a full-size kind of skinny trash can underneath my laundry hamper you can fit a lot under there um, but one thing I did do is I left the we might have to go see it but okay. I left now she has a video on YouTube that we have to link to now yeah. <laughs> with 10,000 views about how she set up her room and I left this in the closet mm -hmm. uh, so I could have more space um, okay. in the room and underneath my bed um, and it's a great place to kind of section off you can what put, is this know, again it's just a little drawer you can put um for females at mm -hmm. least um kind of your bras here and then just like all of your undergarments and section them off here um with the rest of your clothes so i, I find that very convenient as well mm -hmm. um we have this side that i already has some yeah. Places where you can hang things mm -hmm. as well. We've, I think we refer to that as a chest of drawers. Or chest. Like chest of drawers, okay. Yes. And then Amy asks, do the A suites have two double rooms in Maple West? Does this come with a Does this come with a living area? Uh, the A suites. I have to look at the website for that. Um, Amy, we can we can check for you about A suites. Um, we don't have that configuration right in front of us. But we do know that on the website we refer to A and B and all those things. Mm -hmm. I apologize. We'll get to it. Okay, I'll come <laughs> back around and get that for you. Okay. That's, yeah. Great. Right. So let's go check out a lofted space. A lofted space is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> hey, loving all these questions, by the way. What's that, Kevin? Do you want me to close it? Um, turn around. What am I doing here? <laughs> okay. Four, which one are oh, we which room? We're doing... 430 or 429? I thought it was 429. Can we come this way? Because okay. the laundry room is there. Here, I'm about to dig it up. Sorry, we're just trying to figure out which room we're doing next. 429 and 448. Okay. We do a lot of conference services in the summer. You saw someone downstairs. That's because we have people coming in and out. We have band camp, for example, here now. And we just don't want to walk in on anybody. <laughs> so we have to be sure we choose the right rooms. Okay, there we go. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So, I think the this is generally the same configuration on the whole. The bathroom's a little slightly different, maybe. I mean, it's the same stuff, it's just configured a bit different. And the bathroom will be behind you mm -hmm. instead of right beside the bathroom. Right. So we're in a lofted room right now. There's the bathroom. Great. Okay. Let's go upstairs to the lofted area and answer Kim's question, which is, what do you recommend putting in the living area? What would fit? What did you guys put in yours? We had a futon, um, and we also did uh, kind of like, oh gosh, like a tapestry behind the futon. We had kind of like a small little TV stand. It was seriously so small, I don't think it was meant for a TV. Um, and then we just put our TV on top, and we had little cushions um, in front. There's also a picture on the room tour, since you're linking it, um, of kind of the setup. but. It was really nice and, you know, we had the futon, the cushions. Um, we found cushions easier than finding a, like, full table like this <laughs> for our room. Sure. Um, but yeah, and we left our food and our coffee maker and stuff out there as well, so. And I won't, I won't plug any specific secondhand store, but we have a lot of really good secondhand stores in Fayetteville that you can go to we to do. find great deals on kind of funky stuff that's really nice. And I used to work in one my freshman year. You can tell someone you can do, you can tell someone you worked in. Um, I worked at a, a piece and home store, but okay. uh, it was kind of through work study actually. Uh -huh. um, and the great thing about it is it goes to the the, the proceeds go to like you know battered women and women in shelters. So it's a good 
good cause. Good cause. Good cause. Good cause. Yeah, we have a couple that are affiliated with nonprofits, so we always appreciate when you use your secondhand money to help the <laughs> community. Um, so we're at a lofted space now, and this is incredible. Oh, I love it. Hey, uh, Juliana, you got a shout out from Natalie. She says, I would love to watch your videos, oh, <laughs> and she you. can't wait. Uh, uh, Please comment in the link below. She may be asking you to link to it. Okay. If you don't mind, I'll go ahead and let you link to it if you don't okay. mind, because that way they'll know, you know, kind of who you are if you, if you want to. Okay, and then right here, so this is the lofted space. Yes, it's very spacious. <laughs> very spacious. Yeah, and you can do a lot with this space, with decorations, um, if that's what you like to do. But, uh, I remember seeing this room, one of my friends, he, they had posters everywhere, mm -hmm. and like, they even did like one of those sticky like basketball hook things, like the little ones. Mm -hmm. little. <laughs> oh, there was a basketball? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, it was kind of like a man cave up there, up here for them. But, and this would be a premium. This would be an example of a premium yes. suite. Yes. Great. You can also watch the sunset and sunrise. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get that little view. If you don't mind, do you mind opening it up? Yeah. John asked what furniture comes in the loft. And it would be the furniture I think we have in yeah, here right now. There's a chair. So, John, what you find is a table and a, and a chair. This may be, no, it's not a, like an easy boy. It's just a regular comfy looking chair. And then you have this coffee table here. And then a couch that, you know, I think that's, was that leather? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Right. right. Um, you can see the parking lot from here as well. Okay. Yeah, that's where a lot of people park. Um, Maple. Right, and then you can see the Ozark Mountains there in the horizon. We're excited that you're coming. <laughs> and um, let me take a couple minutes just to take the last of the questions and then we'll, we'll sign off. And uh, does anybody have any more questions for us that we can answer for you while we're here? <laughs> a couple of cool features about the Maple Hills is at the end of, at, on the end of the corridors, there are two different types of study rooms. Mm -hmm. There's a group study room with a table and a large whiteboard. And then in another part of the building, there'd be a quiet study with overstuffed chairs and a whiteboard, but lamps, and it's much more of a comfortable environment to just sit and read or um, you know, do math or whatever in, in a quiet environment. But there are two different types of study rooms for um, the different types of study you might need to do. Yeah, fantastic. Um, Natalie asks us, do you need a special parking permit to park in the dorm parking lot? Is it usually hard to get a spot there? Um, it's not hard to get a spot, but you do need a parking pass, I believe. For it's called the Resident Reserved Parking mm -hmm. Pass. And right now, they, uh, whenever you made your application, you were able to choose whether you wanted one or not. Yes. And uh, if you chose yes, then you went onto a waiting list. And they're working through that waiting list right now. The other potential for parking is Gar, um, is it Garland? The, uh, I guess the Garland Avenue Parking Deck. Garland yes. Avenue Parking Deck, which is very close. Uh, it's not inexpensive, but it's very close and is a, is a good option if you want to do that. Uh, Brittany asks, are the rooms in the premium suite the same? Um, the rooms in all the premium suites are the same. Yeah. The bedrooms would be the same. Now we do have a couple of uh, rooms, I believe in East um, and West that are uh, three bed, three bed uh, suites um, okay. that are different. You can find those on the, the website. They're more in the, the middle of the long wings. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are priced at the premium rate also. Gotcha. And then uh, uh, Natalie also asked, uh, which room type did you have, Juliana? Um, I had uh, the one that we saw. Uh, when I got the question about how to decorate, mm -hmm. that was most like my room. It wasn't exactly like that, but it was most like that. Um, where it was like the A and the B, and I was in B, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it was set up like that. It had op uh, an open area for me. I put the futon and things like that, and then it was the two rooms. Um, and then I was the room in the room closest to the bathroom. Okay. The vanity, so. And uh, Toby asked, can you add any furniture to the loft area? You're welcome to bring what you'd like. Um, the, the, the deal we have with housing is, you know, just leave it like you found it. Make sure it, you know, has all the furniture that was in here when you first moved in. Yeah. Uh, we don't have space for you to put, take furniture away. Uh, so that's all on you as far as... Well, they, they need to leave the furniture. Yeah, you want to leave the furniture in the room. And I do want to say, um, if you find any 
anything wrong with your furniture, they will switch it out for you. Mm -hmm. Because um, I remember my roommate, she had a problem with her chair, like it wouldn't move up and down like it should have or something like that. And they just switched out her chair for her. So yeah. just let them know, um, but don't leave it. And then, you know, they come back and check through and there's like a big rip in the couch or something like that. Like just let them know when you move in so that you can avoid any, um, you know, fines or fees. Yeah, we don't want you guys having any extra fees. Yeah. <laughs> fix it, fix it is where to go. Um, on our webpage right now, on the left hand navigation area, you'll see something called fix it slash maintenance request. You can always go there to file, um, to ask for help on something like that. Okay, well, if there's nothing else, then we're gonna go ahead and sign off. And thank you everyone for joining our tour. You wanna, you wanna wave us out? Yeah, thanks for joining us, bye.